and got to ask you a few Gators questions. It's all good. Gators always stick together. I mean, Tim Tebow now in the NFL. Mm -hmm. Do you think he's going to be successful as an NFL quarterback? I think he is. I mean, he's just going to he's just going to catch so much grief from critics because they're they're going to be anything you do going to be magnified. They want him to mess up or whatever. So I think he's going to he he has his work cut out for him because everyone's really doubting him. He got he was a first round pick. Everyone's really going against him because they don't think he was deserving of that. And I think if they give him a chance, just give him a chance. I mean, everyone have mistakes. He's going to have his mistakes, but overall. He's a winner. He just knows how to win, and that's it. I would, I, I would pick him on my team, first round, first pick, first whatever. So you weren't surprised at all when he went in the first round? No, I wasn't surprised. I mean, they obviously know something that everyone else was doubting in them or whatever. So um, they, I think they got them a nice gym, a nice diamond in the rough. Uh, when you were with the Titans, how was Vince Young as a quarterback, as a, as a leader? You're there. I mean, the last few years. Mm -hmm. I mean, did you see him mature at all? I mean, a lot he of times. You know, he he definitely. On the field, but you know, off yeah. the field, a lot of people have some questions. He, Definitely matured. I would say on the field and off the field from when I first got back last year when Kerry became the starter after the first game and then going into last year when Vince got the job back. As far as just sitting back and looking at the game, seeing what, oh, like he was like just talking to him off the field, outside of football, just you see life a totally different way. Just it's a Either like a lot of guys in the NFL, if they're not humble, it's only a matter of time before they go through a humbling experience. And that was a very humbling experience for him. He would even tell you and he's a he's a better person for it. And as far as uh, him as a quarterback, I mean, do you think he can lead? I mean, he came in last season, halfway through the season. Definitely. He put together a nice string of wins. Do you think he can lead this Titan team? Uh, he definitely, definitely can lead this team if they continue to put in the parts around them. As far as if Chris Johnson going to get him signed and get him in there running like he does. And then besides that, some good receivers in that biting defense that we normally have over there. If they have that defense in the tools around Vince, then he knows that he's not going to have to try to force things the way he did back in Texas. So if he, if he don't have to force things, he can be that much more calm and that better of a quarterback. And Johnson might be one of the most important pieces on that offense at running back. Do you think the Titans will give him that big time contract decision? He was a first round pick, so he yeah. gets guaranteed money. But do you think they'll give him that big contract it's, decision he wants? It's hard to say. I went through the same thing there in Tennessee. You know, like my first three years, I was all pro, pro bowl, everything or whatever. And it didn't happen. So it's just, it's just a, a way of them saying that, OK, if we do this for you, other players are going to do it. But what they are forgetting is those other players aren't Chris Johnson. <laughs> it's all about keeping your star player happy. And if that's what he thinks he deserves, I'm not knocking anybody. I don't knock anybody who holds out or do whatever because it's a business and you got to do whatever you can when you can. So whatever it is, I'm sure it's going to be situated and taken care of by the time they start camping. He's going to be running the ball like he did before. Do you think he's the best running back in the NFL? By far. By, by being on the field with him on the sideline, yes, he's that guy.